Uh, we've been uh, racing together and training together as usual. And uh, a lot of this year has been about uh, testing equipment. Uh, there's uh, some new things from our side this year. So it's looking forward to trying out on the course. For me, it feels really good to get back racing. Uh, that's why I love swim run the most is to be able to race as much as we can. Uh, I know Oscar pushed through there and trained lots and had a lot of goals and things to do, but I really strive on racing as much as I can. So I'm really happy that we got to race as much as we did this year. And it's going to be fun to get back on the course. I haven't been out there since 2018. So it's yeah. going to be a good experience to get back. We've been testing a lot of different things with wetsuits over the last sort of year and we've decided that like uh, we benefit most through clipping off the shoulders so we're going to be, what we lose maybe in the cold we're going to gain on the run so and we've tested a lot and it seems to work really well for us both in the swim and the run so hopefully it'll be in a, to our advantage tomorrow. Yeah. And if you're extra cold you get some extra speed out on the runs so. Yeah I mean it's going to be a really hard race it's like it is every year it's the world championship so all the teams have been preparing really well for this and it's sort of a melting pot. You come here, everyone's prepared, done everything they can and you know there's, there's sort of eight teams that can win tomorrow. So yeah, I think one big thing to take away from that is we, we saw a lot in 2019 when they raced. It was a very tactical race and some Oscar and I have talked about a lot is we're not really here to play games like they did in 2019. We just want to go out there, do our own race. More like 2018 was a much more honest uh, race and full gas from the beginning and then we also had the course record that is still the current course record so I think it's going to be much more similar to 2018 than 2019 this year. Oh We got a rough start uh, with me getting caught up in, in the crowd in the first swim, losing my paddle. So um, I lost the feet of Ariel and he had to wait for me. Um, and then he took us back into the front again. Yeah, I mean, it was a really tough race for us out there. The conditions were tough, it was bumpy, but um, we had a plan to just go out and do our own race and go hard from the start and try and lead from start to finish. And, we executed exactly what we wanted to do. I mean, and then the icing on the cake was to beat the course record. Um, after 2018, the guys had the course record. It was flat, so we didn't, weren't sure if it was even possible today. But um, to take that course record was uh, a little bit of icing on the cake. As I said, it was yeah, a great day for us.